Hey, welcome to EPN. My name is Victor Lucas, and we bring you the latest in everything cool every single day. Today, we are in beautiful Cannes, France at the MIP TV conference, getting all kinds of great interviews about upcoming projects that you're going to want to see. The Wren is who this rundown goes out to. He said, parlez-vous cool? Can't wait to see our stuff. Well, this rundown is all yours. One of the best virtual reality experiences is finally swooping down on other platforms. Rocksteady Studios has announced that Batman Arkham VR, released last year as a PlayStation VR exclusive, will finally come to the HTC Vive and Oculus Rift on April 25th. The developers say they're looking forward to giving PC gamers the chance to jump in, and if you're a Batman fan like me, it should be worth the wait. Arkham VR is a shorter experience where players take the role of Batman to solve crimes and fight enemies, but it doesn't matter how short it is because it makes you feel like Batman, and that's all that matters. And virtual reality is so popular, it's even here at the MIP TV event. SimWave is a Canadian company that makes a special virtual reality booth simply known as The Booth, which is designed for an immersive VR experience. It combines a standard VR headset with physical wind, heat, smell, and rumble effects, along with customizable lighting and other effects that can be tailor-made for any VR experience. Right now, it's being used in different museums and events across Canada. We caught up with some of the folks from SimWave right here at MIP TV for a closer look at their booth. It's a multi-sensory booth, so not just your plain VR. Yeah. Uh, it's got a rumbling floor. There's solenoids in all the poles that can shoot wind at you. Yeah. Uh, if we had enough ceiling height, there'd also be a heater and a smell generator up there that would be blasting heat at you and different smells depending on what you're doing. So if you're in war, you'll, you'll smell gunpowder. You're in the steam locomotive, you'll sell, smell the coal burning. What kinds of stuff can you do with a 4D simulator? Uh, well, right now, the, the two main ones we have is one's a World War I Vimy Ridge 100th anniversary oh, scenario. So very appropriate. Yeah, very. It just happened, right? Exactly, yeah. yeah. And what's the other piece that you guys have put together? Uh, it's a steam locomotive for the Science and Tech Museum in Ottawa. Oh, so they have the real locomotive in the museum, yeah. but people can't go in it for safety reasons. So yes. we went in, we 3D scanned the inside of it, our artist recreated it all in, in 3D, yeah. and you get to drive the train. So you get to see it speed up, slow down, blow the whistle, uh, play with the fire all the fun stuff you'd want to do on a train. It will probably be a while before booths like this are affordable enough for the average person to have in their home. SimWave is also planning to create their own custom games and experiences for the booth, with their first due to arrive later this year. The makers of the Saints Row games are about to unleash the mayhem with their latest project. Saints Row developer Volition has announced that their new game, Agents of Mayhem, will launch August 15th on the Xbox One, PS4, and PC. It takes place in the same universe as the Saints Row games, albeit far into the future, and the gameplay style promises to be very different. Players will lead a squad of futuristic soldiers out to thwart a deadly army of supervillains. You'll have 12 different characters from which to choose, each with unique abilities and weapons, but you'll only be able to use three of them at a time, so you'll have to decide which ones are best for each mission. Volition hopes that Agents of Mayhem will feel different from the Saints Row series, while at the same time offering a similar artistic style and comedic tone. We'll have more on the game before it arrives. It looks like the long return journey to Pandora is almost over. The four, yes, four upcoming sequels to James Cameron's 2009 blockbuster Avatar are set to begin shooting later this fall. That's according to actress Sigourney Weaver, who tells The Hollywood Reporter that she and the other actors have already begun the physical training needed for the films, and this follows statements made by James Cameron that performance capture was slated to begin later this year as well. There's still no official release dates for the sequels, but don't expect to see the first one until at least 2019, 10 years after the original film was released. Cameron had originally planned to make two back-to-back -back sequels, but they quickly ballooned to three sequels, and now four. All of the sequels have already been written, and shooting them at the same time will help bring production costs down. Weaver says that people will love the new movies because they're so ambitious, and the scripts are, in her words, amazing. We're gonna have to hold her to that. Americans have a lot less privacy when they're on the internet. President Trump has officially signed into law an unpopular bill that allows internet service providers to sell your browsing history to advertisers without your consent. The bill was first passed by the U.S. Congress last month, and along with your browsing history, it also allows ISPs to sell information about what kind of mobile apps you're using. It's worth pointing out that this is something that's already being done by websites like Google and Facebook, although there's a big difference between websites that users can choose to visit and internet service providers that you need to use if you want to get online in the first place. Personal data is very valuable to advertisers, allowing them to target specific people with specific ads, but this obviously raises big concerns about privacy. 
Users who want to protect their privacy still have several options. They can use a virtual private network or VPN, which masks your IP address, or go one step further and use a more anonymous browser like Tor, which conceals your location and usage. You don't have to wait for The Last of Us Part Two to play another Naughty Dog game on the PS4. Sony has announced that the classic Jack and Daxter games are getting the PS4 remaster treatment. The first three games in this series, originally released on the PS2, will be re-released on the PS4 later this year in a new collection known as Jack and Daxter PS2 Classics. The same games were already remastered and re-released on the PS3 back in 2012 as the Jack and Daxter collection, but the new PS4 versions will offer even better 1080p visuals so they'll look a little more polished. I guess that makes this a remaster of a remaster. The PS4 set will also include a fourth game, the 2005 spin-off Jack X Combat Racing, which makes this the first time the game has been available since its original release. The Jack and Daxter games are easily some of the best 3D platformers ever, so we're anxious to jump back in. That does it for the rundown today. Thank you so much for watching. We're gonna be back with a brand new episode tomorrow, so make sure you come back for that. And while you're waiting, poke around on the channel and find some other things to watch.